Dramaturgy, what a question. What is a dramaturg? That's actually a question that gets asked a lot. Probably the concept that most people know of. It is a, a person who does extensive research and contextualization for the worlds of the plays that you're working on. No matter what you are, if you're a designer, if you're an actor, if you're a director, or if you're a playwright, if you're working on the play, the one thing that's in common between the four of those disciplines is research. It is the person who is saying, I'm gonna take a step back and take a look at the world of the play as a whole. What makes sense? Where are some areas that we could improve on clarity? How is the storytelling in this? How much deeper can we get? We're currently working on Never the Sinner by our playwright ensemble alumnus, John Logan. The piece itself, though written in the 1980s, takes place in 1924, Chicago, Illinois. He sorted through the 300 plus pages of psychological transcripts that they did on these two young men, the thousand pages of court transcripts and testimonies from the 100 witnesses that were brought in, examining the secret life of objects that the play talks about, which include Leopold's glasses, um, which were the ones that were discovered at the scene of the crime. So often, audience members have the ability to sort of see a play and wipe their hands and say, wow, that was interesting, now I'm going in about my regular life. What we provide here at Victory Gardens is a concept that I've called civic dramaturgy. I'm simultaneously partnering with community members and community organizations whose experiences relate directly to the themes of the play. And I bring these people in as part of the rehearsal process. I have them join us in either pre-show spoken word performances during the run of the show, post-show panels, town hall conversations, but it's sort of like this parallel of two roads, two cars that are driving down the same road, the world outside of the play and the world within the play colliding for the first time. We see ourselves in history, and when you see a period piece like Never the Sinner, you find yourself in it. And audiences are going to be walking away either embracing that or being totally afraid of that. <laughs>